Hello everyone, this is Denise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts, and um, this particular video is a little snippet of the Jacob that I started spinning in February of 2021, and I had to take a break from spinning, took a long break, and did a lot of sewing. And so just about two weeks ago, um, when I started spinning for the one year one outfit, I needed to clean off my bobbins. So I went ahead and finished the Jacob. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play the first section of that year old video so that you can see me processing the Jacob. Hello everyone, this is Denise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts. And this is kind of like a spin along. Uh, I have been taking a little bit of a break from spinning uh, just to, you know, to really keep from getting tendonitis. I'm starting to fill it, flare up a bit. So I've been doing some uh, hand sewing uh, with the historical uh, American Girl dolls, which actually, when you think about it, isn't really much different than hand spinning. Uh, it's still a lot of motion with the hands, but slightly different muscles. And so I'm back to spinning again. And this video is sponsored by Emmy, who bought me coffees through my buy me a coffee link down in the description below, because that's how I can afford to keep buying fiber and keep on spinning. Also, this video is sponsored by Keisha at High Hog Farm. Look up Keisha on Instagram and Facebook. And this is her wonderful Jacob fleece that she sent me. It's quite a bit of it here. And normally when I spin, I have an idea of what it is I'm going to make. But in this case, I don't. I just thought it was a good time for a video. And this lovely Jacob here has been calling my name. Now, I use Jacob a lot. I've done some Jacob breed studies, which if I remember by the end of this video, I will link below. But you can find those in my breed study list. Also, Jacob's on my five fab lists. And so I love Jacob. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I'm always happy to spin with it. And this is a beautiful fleece. The staple length is really nice. It's very crimpy. It has little to no kemp in the fleece. Actually, I don't really see any kemp in the fleece. It doesn't have a great deal of vegetable matter. So this is going to be a wonderful fleece to spin. It's been suet and soaked. So it is grease flea, but it is really nice. Now, when I work with Jacob, depending on the staple limp and everything, well, I don't really card it, but you know by now I don't really card anything. I like to flick things or I use them as they are. And Praxis has some four pitch English combs. I might do some more combing. I haven't done that in a while. Because I just have the Indigo Hound um, single pitch combs. The Viking combs. So at any rate, I just generally just flick the ends. I just lay it across the carter. And pull and flick the ends. Okay, so that's basically all I ever do to most things when I spin it. And they stay aligned. And I think I'm still considering that a worsted spin. So that's all I'm going to do to this here. Uh, because I'm not carding. Very little blending actually happens when I'm using this Jacob fleece. I just grab the handful. If they're mixed together like that, then they do blend. And they turn a nice sort of gray. But if I grab a chunk like this and whatever is mostly white is mostly separate. And whatever is mostly brown is mostly separate. So they don't blend. And I really like the barber pole effect of Jacob yarn, which is interesting because when I dye things, I don't really like the barber pole effect, but I do like the barber pole effect of the natural Jacob fiber. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do to it. And since I don't have any idea of what I'm going to use it for yet, I'm just going to spend something that is maybe about sport weight. We'll see how it goes from there. So I'm laying this out on the carters. Or at least the first carter. And instead of pulling it through, flicking it, like I normally would with the large flicker, 
I'm actually going to just pass the other quarter just across the ends. Just straighten it out a little bit because I just want to release some of the VM, the little that's in there. And I want to get some of those short pieces and straighten those out. Okay, so there we go. And just because I'm releasing VM, I'm going to turn it over and give it a second pass. That is all I am going to do to it. Pull off the ends. I could lift it off as one. I'm going to pull this off, keeping it straight. And I'm just going to spin it like this, basically, right from the tips. Look how incredibly crimpy that fiber is. So make a couple of those little chunks. Not too worried if I don't get all of the vegetable matter. It'll flick out as I spin. This will probably take me 25 minutes to a half an hour. And I will have this all worked up. The mystery fiber is what I'm going to use for the weave along. And I, I need to go ahead and set a date for the weave along so I can announce it for anybody who wants to join. I'm thinking maybe May or June to give everybody like a, a heads up time. But it's a mystery fiber. I really don't know what it is. It wasn't labeled when I got it from Nancy's stash. But maybe, depending on how this looks, I might toss this in there as part of the warp to liven it up a bit. Because the mystery fiber is just totally tan. And this would just add a little spice to it. All I'm doing is I'm just pulling it out. I'm not really carding it. Just straightening it a little. Now, because I am using the carders, there's going to be a little more loft to this. But this is Jacob. So, Jacob is one of those fibers that it is going to fool and swell a lot. So, I'm going to spin it thinner then what I want, what I would normally spin because I know that it's really going to uh, fluff up quite a bit. It'll completely change its character when the yarn is washed. That's just something you need to know about, Jacob. You're not going to get what you get when you finish spinning. Which is one of the reasons I encourage breed studies. So you learn these kind of things. You have a good idea. You don't go, oh, I've spun this wonderful lace. And then you go to wash it. And uh, it's like sport weight. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead get started.
And here is the Jacob completed. It's wound in some center pull balls. And uh, sorry about the background. That is my rotary mat. And it's taken a lot of abuse over the past year. So, um, if you, well, of course you saw the video before that. And you could see how there was a lot of white in what I initially was carding as I went further down into the bag. There wasn't quite so much white. So, this particular uh, ball right here has a lot of white and black. It's very st striped yarn. And this one, not quite so much. And also, one of the biggest differences that I want you to see is when I first started the spinning, as you can see, I was just flicking it out smooth with the hand carters. So there wasn't a lot of color mixing going on. In this segment right here, I took this to the spinning class I was teaching at Praxis, and I used it to... Uh, teach them how to run fiber through the drum carter so you can see the difference it makes between the just the hand flicking where I wasn't really carding at all and what it looks like when I actually run it through the drum carter how the blending process works now I have no idea what I'm going to do with this but it, I love Jacob and it was an awesome spin and I really thank Keisha for sending me this, Jacob. She has wonderful sheep. So uh, if you're looking for uh, some Jacob wool, and I believe she has Gulf Coast Native too. And she's doing quite a few other projects by now, working with um, Indigo. So check her out. It's High Hog Farm. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. At some point in some future video, you'll see me make something from this Jacob or you can always check my blog at something beautiful handcrafts and wordpress or Instagram have a great day